This is Sir James, your virtual math teacher. And welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa dividing fractions. At para sa ating objectives ngayon, first, we're going to divide simple fractions by another simple fractions or by mixed fractions. Second, Divide mixed fraction by another mixed fraction. And lastly, change mixed fraction to simple fraction. Inahin muna natin kung paano mag-divide ng simple fraction to a simple fraction. Gagamit natin method ay keep, change, flip, and reduce. Again, Tandaan natin itong apat na steps. Keep, change, flip, reduce. Example, one-fourth divided by two-fifths. One-fourth is a simple fraction. Divided by two-fifths, simple fraction din siya. Paano mag-divide? First step, keep. Ibig sabihin, ikikip natin or ikakapi lang natin ang ating first fraction, 1 fourth. So, keep the first fraction, 1 fourth. Next step, change. Change natin ang ating operation na division into multiplication. So, yung division naging multiplication. Third step, flip. Ibig sabihin ng flip, we're going to flip our second fraction. Or babalik na rin natin ang ating second fraction. Yung kanyang denominator ay magiging numerator. At yung, ang kanyang numerator ay magiging denominator. Ang tawag doon ay reciprocal. Ang two-fifths ay magiging 5 halves. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang ating operation na ngayon ay multiplication. Dito, magagamit na ang inyong knowledge on how to multiply our fractions. So, nung nakaraang lesson natin, okay, how we are going to multiply fractions, we just simply multiply the numerators. 1 times 5 is equals to 5. Second, multiply the denominators. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. After na multiply natin, last step, reduce our fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. So, kung mapapansin ninyo na ang 5 at 8 ay wala ng common factor. So, ibig sabihin na ang ating fraction is already in the lowest term. So, our final answer is 5 over 8. Another example, kung paano mag-divide ng simple fraction to a simple fraction. So, dapat natin tandaan itong method, keep, change, flip, and reduce. Suppose that we have 3 fifths divided by 2 ninths. Okay, first step, keep. Keep or copy our first fraction, 3 fifths. Next step, change. So, being, we are going to change our operation division into multiplication. Yung divide, pinalitan natin ng multiply. Next step, flip. Flip our second fraction. We're going to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. Babalik na rin natin, ang denominator ay magiging numerator. At ang numerator ay siya namang magiging denominator. So yung 2 ninths ay naging 9 halves. Then, proceed tayo kung paano mag-multiply ng fractions. First step, multiply the numerators. 3 times 9 is equals to 27. Next step, multiply the denominators. 
5 times 2 is equal to 10. The last step, reduce the fraction to lowest term or simplest form if possible. Since ang sagot natin ay improper fraction, so we're going to reduce this one to a mixed number. Papano? We we'll just simply divide the numerator, 27, by its denominator, na 10. So we have 27 divided by 10 is equals to 2. Next operation, multiply. 2 times 10 is equals to 20. The next operation, subtract. 7 minus 0 is equals to 7. 2 minus 2 is equals to 0. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong remainder na 7. Ang ating quotient na 2 ay magiging whole number. Ang ating remainder na 7 ay magiging numerator and then just copy the denominator which is 10. So, therefore, our answer is 2 and 7 over 10. Itong quotient naging whole number. Itong numerator, itong remainder ay naging numerator at ang ating denominator na 10 ay same pa rin. So the final answer again is 2 and 7 over 10. Paano naman mag-divide ng simple fraction to a whole number? So again, ang ating mga steps, change, or keep, change, flip, and reduce. Example, 3 ninths divided by 3. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, simple fraction divided by a whole number na 3. Tanda natin na ang lahat ng whole number, ang kanyang denominator ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang 3 pala, ang kanyang denominator dito ay 1. So, we're going to change this whole number to a simple fraction. Kapahin muna natin ang 3 ninths divided by 3 over 1. So, ganyan ang magiging itsura niya. So, since parehas na silang simple fraction ngayon, punta na tayo sa ating method. Keep. We're going to keep or copy our first fraction. 3 ninths. Next step, change. Change the operation division into multiplication. The next, flip. Flip the second fraction. 3 over 1 becomes 1 third or 1 over 3. Then, multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerator by the numerator. 3 times 1 is equals to 3. 9 times 3 is equals to 27. The last step Reduce our fraction to lowest term if possible. So, tingnan natin kung meron pang common factor ang 3 at 27. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang GCF ng 3 at 27 ay 3. So, pwede pa siyang ma-reduce. Papano? We just divide the GCF na 3 by its numerator and denominator. So, 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1. 27 divided by 3 is equals to 9. So, ibig sabihin, our final answer, or the lowest term of our fraction, is 1 9. Tandaan, lahat ng whole number, ang kanyang denominator, ay 1. Paano naman mag-divide ng simple fraction to a mixed fraction? Ang ating method, una, change first the mixed fraction to simple fraction. Then, keep, change, flip, and then last, hindi nawawala po yung reduce. So, say for example, 5 halves divided by 3 and 1 half. Ang ating simple fraction, 5 halves, at ang meron tayong mixed fraction na 3 and 1 half. So, paano? Change first the mixed fraction to simple fraction. Kagawin muna nating improper fraction itong 3 and 1 half. Paano? 
you just simply multiply the whole number by the denominator. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then add it to the numerator. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Then copy the denominator which is 2. So, we have 5 halves divided by or the 3 and 1 half becomes 7 halves. Then, next step, we divide na tayo ng simple fraction by a simple fraction. Next step, keep. Keep the first fraction. Next, change. Change the operation to multiplication. Next, flip. Flip the second fraction. 7 halves becomes 2 over 7. Then multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerator by the numerator. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then multiply the denominator by the denominator. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. So ang ating fraction ngayon ay 10 over 14. So mapapansin ninyo, meron pang common. So therefore, reduce fraction to lowest term if possible. So mag-iisip tayo ngayon ng number na pwedeng mag-divide kay 10 at 14. At ang number na pwedeng mag-divide or ang pinakmalaking number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 10 and 14 ay 2. So we are going to divide 2 by the numerator and the denominator. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Again, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So therefore, our final answer is 5 over 7. Paano naman mag-divide ng mixed fraction to another mixed fraction? So una, change first the mixed fraction to simple fraction. Then, keep, change, flip, and reduce. Suppose that we have 4 and 1 half divided by 2 and 2 thirds. So 4 and 1 half is a mixed fraction divided by 2 and 2 thirds, which is also a mixed fraction. So step 1, change first the mixed fraction the simple fraction. So, yung 4 and 1 half, gagawin muna nating improper fraction. Paano? Multiply natin ang whole number sa denominator. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Copy the denominator. So, ang 4 and 1 half ay magiging 9 halves or 9 over 2. Divided by... 2 and 2 thirds, gagawin din nating improper fraction. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. So, copyhin mo lang yung denominator na 3. So, again, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Then, copy the denominator, which is 3. Okay, so, meron na tayong 9 over 2, or 9 halves, divided by 8 thirds. Next, keep. Keep our first fraction, 9 halves. Next step, change. Change the operation division into multiplication. Next step, flip. Flip. The second fraction, 8 thirds, babalik ta rin natin, magiging 3 eighths. Then, multiply na tayo. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Next, multiply the denominators. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So, we have 27 over 16. So, kung napapansin ninyo, ang ating sagot ay improper fraction. So, last step lagi, reduce fractions to lowest term or simplest form if possible. So, again, dahil improper fraction ang ating sagot, 
are going to reduce this one into mixed number. So, i-divide lang natin ang 27 sa 16. 27 divided by 16 is equals to 1. Next operation, multiply. 1 times 16 is equals to 16. Then, subtract. 7 minus 6 is equals to 1. And 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. So, the remainder is 11. So, again, ang ating quotient na 1 ay magiging whole number. Ang ating remainder na 11 ay magiging numerator. At ang ating 16 na divisor or denominator ay kokopyahin lang. So, therefore, we have 1 and 11 over 16. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Maraming salamat. Hanggang sa susunod ulit nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teachers. Magpaalam! Thank you.